Well, the left-wing media not giving up on its Trump administration chaos theory. A new Washington Post headline reading, White House stabilizers gone, Trump calling his own shots. But is that really such a bad thing? Joining us with his reaction, chairman of the American Conservative Union and a real smart guy, Matt Schlapp. Good morning and happy Easter, Matt. Hey, Matt. Hey, hey Matt. how are you all? So the president's calling his own shots. Is that bad? Yeah, what a shock. I mean, I imagine that President Barack Obama never called his own shots and he had all these smart people around him that just pushed him into decisions. This whole idea that President Trump is somehow chaotic and unique because he has his own strong point of view and is trying to push his administration in the way he sees fit is actually the way presidents operate in the job. I've seen it up close and personal. It's always difficult to convince a president to go off the course they want to be on because after all, the people put them in that office and they feel a little bit of pride about the right. fact that they, they got themselves there. But isn't it normal though for you look throughout history and you know this better than I do, but when you get into that role to it takes time to figure out the right people right. that you want around you, the people that that think the way you do, that can that can challenge you in ways that maybe make for a more productive White House. Isn't this the, the smart thing to be doing? And that's a great question. And with Donald Trump, it's even more so because yes. he had such uh, limited government experience. Mm -hmm. He hadn't served a day in a job in government. And after a full year in a job, unlike any other president we've seen in modern times, having a special counsel almost every day of his presidency, uh, you know, practically. And after that long, grueling year, I think he said to himself, look, I've got a better handle of what this job actually is. Yeah. I don't have to listen to people telling me what it's going to be like. I know what it's like. I want to get people around mm -hmm. me that are going to give me the very best advice. And look at the kind of people he's putting around him. John Bolton, somebody I know well, he's on the board of CPAC. Uh, Larry Kudlow, these are not yes men. These mm -hmm. are men who are going to walk in that Oval Office and give him their strong point of view. He'd also, he also had to run against the Republican establishment uh, in, 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 in this process as well, so it didn't have the normal reservoir that a politician right. would necessarily draw upon. Mm. Uh, but Griff's been covering the California sanctuary city uh, issue very, very closely. Governor Brown making pardons, the state a sanctuary city, but certain municipalities opting out, wanting to side with Je uh, Jeff Sessions instead. As conser conservatives writ large, where should they stand on this clash as it pertains to sanctuary cities and immigration? Yeah, no, uh, it's a great question, Pete. And uh, anybody, the immigration law is national law. It's with the federal, one of the purviews of the federal government. For any uh, other for, uh, layer of government to try to carve themselves out of the uh, of Washington D.C.'s uh, uh, ability to dictate immigration law is simply illegal. And these really aren't sanctuary cities or sanctuary states; they're criminal cities. And uh, and it's the right thing for conservatives to do to continue to stand up for politicians that say we have to follow the law. You know, it's always liberals that say we're a nation of laws, not of men. And it's funny when it comes to immigration, there's a lot of hypocrisy from the left. Mm. It's interesting, Matt. You know, we're seeing a backlash. It looks like it's going to continue to grow, not only in the conservative circles of California, but maybe across the state. Good. I hope it's not a liberal or conservative issue either. I hope it's just yeah. an American issue. Yeah, yeah that's a good All right, point. Matt. Matt Schlapp, good to have you with us. Thanks, Happy Matt. Easter. Happy Easter. Thank Appreciate you. it.